You okay? Hey, wait. Hey. Look, please, stop. Why are you doing this to yourself? Look, why do you care? <laughs> just, just leave me alone. Hey. Look, I, I probably shouldn't care, but I do. Please, no matter what the problem is, nothing that can't be worked out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's alright. I'm just, I'm just right. really scared. Okay. Hey, let's do something about that arm, okay? Could you? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I'm sorry. I I didn't know who you were. I tend to put up a guard. Didn't know who I am. Well, yeah. I mean, you have that on your arm, and and you came to me. I mean, you were made for me. What are you talking about? My my sister, her boyfriend Matthew is a scientist, and I'm not really sure what he does, but he said something about how we all have half souls and we can't exist until we unite with another. And you think I'm your other half? <laughs> well, there's no question about that. I mean, you've got that on your arm. You you were obviously made for me. Oh, look, lady. I just wanted to check on you because you were crying, okay? Don't you believe in fate? What? I don't know. <sighs> Look, I'm going to 737 Divinity Avenue. You want to come with me? I'll follow you anywhere together as one. But, but first you've got to meet Matthew and Zion. Matthew and Zion. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Don't you remember? I just told you. My sister and her boyfriend, the scientist. You know what? You've seen my goddamn life. You don't even listen to a word I say. What? All right, look. I gotta get going, okay? Please don't leave me. Look, I won't leave you if you don't push me away. I said you could come with me. Look, just, just take a minute to talk to me, okay? Try and understand me and, and take a minute to listen to me. I'm worth it on everything you want, I promise. Look, I don't really know what it is I want. Where do you come from? I'm not sure. I don't remember much of anything. Say my name. Which is? Percy. Oh. Well, I'm Lilith. It only makes sense that we know each other's names, you know, since we're soulmates and all. Yeah. Definitely. Hey. You got a mark on your forehead. What? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel something. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked in the mirror since I woke up. I got one too, look. Is that what mine looks like? Yeah, yeah, almost exactly. Well, where'd you get yours? I don't know, I just woke up with it a long time ago. Huh. You know, I'm just so happy to be next to you. Nobody's meant to be alone, you know? You know, we're all sort of part of something else, and, and if we don't unite with someone, then we just perish, disintegrate into the atmosphere without any evidence of our past existence at all. That's what Matthew tells me all the time. Matthew's so smart. 
Does any of this that you're talking about have anything to do with why you were cutting yourself? Well, yeah. I mean, I can't live without someone in my life. It's not just me. Nobody can live like that. I don't know. I seem to be doing all right before I met you. <laughs> That's what you say. But what do you really remember about before you met me? Look, I'm uh -huh. just... Aha! See? Prove my point. I'm just a little confused. That's all. I know. Matthew will explain it way better than I ever could, so... Come on. in your heart. I don't want you to bring up any of this in front of Matthew, okay? If there's anything you don't understand, just keep it to yourself, okay? I don't know about this. It could be a minute. Um, they might be conducting an experiment or something. All right. What are you waiting for? Come on in. Hey, you know, if, uh, if I'm not welcome here, I can just be on my way. No, don't mind us. Matthew will be down in just a minute. Okay. What's going on, Lilith? I found him. The one. Just like the five other ones you found last week? He could be a pretender just like the rest. Look at this. The others didn't have that, did they? This is a proof that we need. Do you even know what that is? It's a tree. Yes, it's called the Tree of Life. It's a Hebrew map that depicts a creation of life. How did you get this on your arm? Damn if I know. Just woke up and it was there. I guess someone drew it on me. So you don't know how it happened? He doesn't remember anything before meeting me. Look, this is a sign that we're meant to be together, okay? Obviously. 
I mean, his life began once he met me. You should ask him. He'll tell you. Go ahead, ask him. Ask him! Ask him about it. Come on, ask him! What's your problem? He seems a little bit on edge. He's not gonna hurt her, is he? Well, if he does, it's not exactly your concern, now, is it? But that's your sister. Exactly. So if something were to happen, I'll be the one to address it. Well, if I'm her one, and she's my other half, it would appear to be my concern as well. <laughs> Listen, we have not ascertained as to whether you are the one or not. Obviously, you're a bit confused having been thrown into this in such a short amount of time. Wait, where are you going? To the bathroom. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Down the hall to the left. do make a cute couple. See, that's exactly what I'm trying to get at. Lilith, don't be hasty. We still don't know a thing about him yet. I woke up, I found this. It's a recording asking me to go somewhere. That's what I'm trying to do. But what makes you think this is a good idea? I don't know. Was it a good idea to come here? I guess I really don't know what else to do. Man. In Buddhism, they have a mentality that if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. Why do you think the person that made this tape actually exists? If someone calls you on the phone, they, you can't see them. They may not exist. Look, I can't live my life based on something that may or may not be. All I know is I woke up with no memory and no item saved that. That has to mean something. Are you challenging him? Who are you? I'm Percy. You've come into my house and you act like this? Why? Are you even in my house? I don't know. I said I'd be more than happy to leave. Hey, you have a scar on your head. Yeah? So what about it? Lilith and I have scars just like that one. So? Great. Everybody has those. Where do they come from? <laughs> Never mind. The issue at hand is you. Seriously, where does everyone get these scars? Why are you so obsessed with the scar? Lilith, you say he's your one? Really? Mm -hmm. Because I think you've made a huge mistake. Look, really think, okay? Does anyone know where these scars came from? <laughs> For all we know, we were born with these marks. Really? Try to think of a time before the mark. I can't. Neither can we. I'm so sick of this. I want to know first and foremost if this douche deserves to be here. Wait here. What do you mean by that? He's going to test your soul. Test my soul? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Matthew's a soul scientist. 
I would prefer those that don't understand my occupation remain silent on the topic. Hey, I have spent enough time with you to know plenty on the topic. I am your assistant. And just because you read a cookbook, does that mean that you're a chef? That's not a fair comparison. <sighs> I have spent many years on a specific brand of science. Please, be respectful. For years, religion and science were as different as one could be. <laughs> I have found the bridge between <laughs> these two realms. I am the world's first soul engineer. And I'd like to demonstrate one of my favorite skills for all of you. Lilith, could you oblige me with your assistance? Yes. <laughs> you know the drill. Don't we need the scale? Uh, leave that to the professional. Zion, could you grab the scale for me? Certainly. We do this every time I bring a new guy back. You guys know you're kind of psycho, right? Mm. I like to think that weak-minded people consider others strange <laughs> when their mind lacks the greater intelligence. So I think you get called a psycho a lot. Here it is. Ha! <laughs> Zion! Prepare the scale! scale and tell everybody what your weight is. Our weight? 130 pounds. Very good. Question? Yeah. What are you going to do next? Make her disappear? Pull a rabbit out of her ass? Now, Percy, if you could check her pulse. You killed her. Zaya, if you can, can you please check her weight? It's, um, a hundred pounds? Exactly. <laughs> you have to do something. Come on, hurry up! Oh, one can't fear death when one has control over life. So is that what you do in your spare time? Play God? I like to think what I do is a little bit more complex than this. I don't understand. <laughs> I'll explain it. I have discovered that all souls are half and can be easily manipulated when in that state. However, when a soul is combined with the characteristic that is missing from another soul, they become remarkably strong. So you're talking about the concept of soulmates? The term soulmate, it's so juvenile. <laughs> I would prefer to think of it as merged consciousness. So love is not a necessary concept for this to actually work. Let me show you something. This is a box to determine if two souls have merged. Zion, stand next to me. And of course, Lilith, please turn off that light. that our two souls have merged. The light that, that comes out of this box is, is very strong. Now, I want you two to stand next to one another. And I'm going to conduct the same experiment. 
How's a light in a box proven? Shh! Put your damn hand under the box. <gasps> I guess you are welcome here. See, I told you he was the one! Well, um, I guess I can go ahead and cook some dinner. You know, I'm not really hungry. I think the whole magical serene jack kind of ruined my appetite. Let it go. He's, he's been through a lot today. Maybe, you know, after a good night's rest, he'll be more inclined to eat. Where can I sleep? Um, the second door to the right. Thanks. Don't go into my laboratory. Where are you going? Oh, well, I'm going to bed with you. What? Why? Are you even tired? No. So why are you going to bed? I don't want to let you out of my sight. I know things seem really erratic right now, but we were meant to be. You heard what Matthew said. If we were so meant to be, then why were you making out with him in the kitchen? Sometimes I just get confused and lost, but that won't happen again, okay? I never knew what real love was before I met you. I don't even know you. How could you say that? I know you better than anyone. What's my favorite color? I don't know. What's my favorite food? I don't know. So how can you honestly say that you love me? Knowing insignificant trivia about someone doesn't make you love that person any more or less. It's, it's something you either know or you don't know. It's, it's something you feel. Don't you feel like there's something missing? We should know more. There's nothing missing. I've known you forever. Here, close your eyes and feel my heart. Lilith, are you happy here? Well, yeah, I mean, I've lived here a long time. I love my sister and Matthew. Does your sister know about you and Matthew? Well, yeah, but that's in the past. You know I won't stay here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll follow you anywhere. Will you do anything I ask? Of course. Stay right here. I'll be right back. Wait, where are you going? I want to check something. I'll be right back. Matthew's a sham. That box isn't some intricate piece of machinery detecting our souls connecting. It's just a box with a flashlight on it. No, no. Matthew's a really smart man and he would never do anything to deceive us. I'm leaving in the morning. If they want us to stay. Then you stay! Maybe staying here would be the best for us. And do what? Live happily and 
and enjoy ourselves here. What, with your crazy polygamous family? I told you it's not like that. Look, I don't know what it is that I'm supposed to do, but I know I can't stay here. Aren't I enough for you? I don't even know you. Why are you so confused? Because I don't know who the hell you are. I don't even know who I am. Then try to. I don't know. I'm leaving in the morning. I'm coming with you. You're crazy. Perhaps. I'm going to sleep. You can go back to bed if you want. So where are we headed? Heading here. The location you heard on this? That's where we're going. Do you even know what direction it is? No clue. Do you usually sleep this late? Yeah, at least another hour. You know, it's too bad we didn't get to say goodbye. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll be fine without us. You know, them being soulmates and all. I wish we had a car. Why? Those things are terrible. Don't you feel lost without one? No, actually I don't. I feel like part of me is missing. You know what? I'm getting hungry. Well, we can't eat right now. Why? Is there like a rule against eating right now? No, we just don't have any food. Oh. Well, if we had a car, we could use it to go find some food. Okay, you just let me know if you see one laying around with an instruction manual on how to use it attached to the door. Don't you feel like there's something spiritual with cars? Spiritual, like Matthew? Yeah. Come on, get out of the road. Hey, I got a crazy idea. What if this tree of life is a map? Well, yeah, it is a map. That's that's what Matthew said, remember? No, not a spiritual map. I mean, like a map of how to get where we're going. Look, I need to be upfront with you. Okay. You think Matthew's ideas are stupid, right? Everything he says is just nonsense to you. Well, what if your ideas are nonsense? I mean, where's the absolute truth in this mysterious destination of yours? Look, I'm not the one brandishing a flashlight looking for soulmates. You were more than welcome to stay back there if you want. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not leaving you? Well, since you decided to come with me, then please trust me. This is my absolute truth, and to me, it makes the most sense. 
Okay. What are we even gonna find when we get there? I have no idea what's there. Hopefully some answers. There you are. Sorry. It's all his idea. I'm sorry to hear that. I think you're both to blame. Yeah, well, sorry to leave so soon, but we have some to be. I highly recommend it. What are you doing? I don't like that guy. But he's like a brother. Well, considering your past with him, I think it's safe to assume you are seriously misinformed on what a sibling relationship consists of. What? I think we lost him. We can't lose him. He's tuned into our souls. Please, don't start with that again. Why am I here with you? You won't stop following me. You know, you're my second half. You can't say things like that to me. All right. Sorry. Please get up. Do you even love me? I'll be with you for now. Come on. Calculations are correct. We're right there. Right there. Right there. Are you serious? Yeah. Look, there's our next stop. Come on. What? Why? Let's go. Hey, wait. Come on. It took a while for your sister to answer the door of your house. Look, I'm just scared. I want to go home. Be my guest. Oh, hey there, guys. Oh, come on in. Actually, no. No, no, no. Please, please. Come on in. Come on in. Come, please, please. Come on, come on. Nothing to worry about. dinner tonight, and I think you will find it quite delicious, and hopefully you can let it out. Oh, of course. I'll be back in just a minute. Thank you. That's great, you know, I'm so hungry. Wait! Please, I'm sorry, sorry. Just a little bit of patience. I'm sorry, I... No, 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 don't be sorry. Just learn from it. Now, to the both of you, you're not looking for any trouble. Correct. Then what are you looking for? Come on, Percy. We shouldn't have come here. This is not please, a good idea. Please, please, wait, wait, wait. I don't mean any harm by either of you. Please, please, stay, please, for, dinner. stay for dinner. Stay for dinner. You need food. You said you were hungry. Yeah. You are hungry. Please, please sit. It's all right. It's all right. The reason why we're here is because I have a recording that's directed me to go to a specific location. And that location is here. Not exactly. See, I'm not really sure how to get there. I've been using this drawing of a tree on my arm as a map. Does 
have looked anything like this. Where did you get that? I don't know. I woke up with it. Big deal. Anybody could have drawn that on you. But no one did. Heidi. Show them yours. You wanted to see this? This means you were the third person we found with that mark on them. This is incredible. You see? This justifies our decision to come here. And I'm, I'm very happy that you did come here. Do you know that we are on the brink of global warfare? Of course. No, you don't even have the first idea, do you? No, 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 no. No, you don't. It's spiritual warfare. The apocalypse. End of the world. You can't see it with your eyes, but it's there. An invisible apocalypse? Give me a break. People fighting an invisible war right now, right in front of their eyes, and they don't even know what's going on. They're having their souls ripped out of their bodies, and to care less about it, they're just going on along as if nothing's wrong. It's impossible. Souls and, and consciousness are intertwined. How can you take the soul away? The body can't go about its day to day. Without a soul, the body exists as a primitive machine. The soul is in charge of the now, in charge of desires. But the primitive mind is in charge of fears and preservation. Many people live within the actions of their primitive mind, so they don't even notice if their soul was missing. So what's robbing everyone of their souls? Okay, um, you're gonna have to listen with an open mind to this part. Hey, you guys have scars on your foreheads too. Where is everyone getting these? Um, we don't know exactly. Personally, I believe it to be an environmental factor. No one can seem to remember how we got them. Wait. What do you mean, environmental? I mean that one day, we all simply woke up with them on our heads. I don't think that could be the case. Are you suggesting that someone actually went around and drilled a bunch of holes in everybody's head? You know how ridiculous this sounds. No more ridiculous than anything else I've heard lately. What you need to focus on right now is the absolute truth. Whatever you might have heard or seen before might have only been meant to cloud your judgment. Matthew's not a liar. Everything he said was absolute truth. He said that all of our souls are half, and in order to continue our lives, we have to find someone to merge with. He called it merge consciousness or something like that. You've oversimplified Matthew's philosophies. You don't understand him at all. God, Percy. Oh no. I understand. I understand all right. <laughs> This Matthew character has been filling your head full of wonderful lies and fantasies. Quite wonderful, and uh, quite a good storyteller, I would imagine, but... None of you have any idea!
So, do you want a bun? What? Bread. Are you okay? Do I look like I'm okay? What's your story? Well, I've lived my life by every word that Matthew said, only to have you just come in here and tell me that it's just bullshit. Well, there's, there is no such thing as soulmates. But Percy's my soulmate. I can feel it. Just because you can feel it doesn't make it true. You're full of crap. I didn't mean to hurt you. Who's getting cold? Thank you. I have to use the bath. Yeah. Sorry. So you guys have a dog? So, like we were saying, there's a reason why you're here. Yeah, fight the Invisible War? Not quite an Invisible War, per se. The both of you, you can't drive cars, right? No, we can't. That's part of the problem. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Up, up, come on. Come on! They're here. The deserts. Come on. What? Okay. We've, we've never been able to fight the deserts before. But now that we have four, I think we might have a chance. What the hell is going on? You've never meditated before. First. Yes, sit like this. Sit like this, close your eyes, and breathe. Thank you.
idea what just happened here, but all I know is the two men were just killed. Somehow I was involved. No, actually you weren't involved. But, but maybe you should have been. Do you know what those things out there are? Cars! To the untrained eye, perhaps. In reality, they are demonic messengers from hell. See, I told you our souls were one. I told you. <laughs> messengers from hell? Merge consciousness? What the hell is wrong with everyone? When I said we were fighting an invisible war, I wasn't just joking around. I'm so confused. Why does everybody say something different? Yeah, good point. Why do we hear a different story from everyone we talk to? And how many people have you talked to other than myself, of course, and this Matthew of yours? Oh, it seems like you've really brought up a lot of opinions for yourself. A lot of different ones out there. There's just going to be people with different thoughts and opinions in life. It's how it works. We are all inherently biased towards each other. No individual, none, is truly selfless. Every time, every time someone does something for another person, it is in reality to satisfy their own selfish and petty desires to make themselves feel superior. No one is willing to sacrifice themselves for a greater cause. I think they are. Look, it's getting late, and you know how you get when you get into these kind of conversations. Once you start, you just go on and on forever. These people don't understand. The end is nigh. The world the world's over. Nobody, <laughs> nobody loves anybody. Why are you being such an asshole? Look at her, you're upsetting her. Oh, in case you forgot, this is my house. I can have whoever I like in it or out of it at any time. I don't want to be here anymore. I understand. Understand what? She's tired. Do you have some place for us to sleep? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was upsetting you. I thought I was upsetting you, dear. I think it would be best if we got a little bit of sleep before we ventured out. And what if I don't feel like letting you get a little sleep? What if I feel like just throwing you out there? Anna! Heidi, she wouldn't last a day out there. The Nezers would tear their asses up. Look, Anno, just let them spend the night, all right? They'll, they'll be gone in the morning. Fine, whatever. I don't know, clean up the yard. He does this all the time. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, if he's not talking to me about his crazy theories, then he's writing them up somewhere. How do you deal with it? I don't, really. Hey, you ladies mind if I step outside? I need some fresh air. No, not at all. Can I come? Actually, I kind of need some me time. That's all right. Okay. Come back soon. What's the problem with you? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were talking to me. Look, actually, I, 
kind of got a lot on my mind, so I'd like some quiet time. How do you think I feel? I've got nowhere to go. And on top of that, my job has been taken from me. Yeah, well, times are tough. What can you do? What can you do? There's a lot you could do. First, you could start by getting a better attitude. Second, how about trying to help someone else out for a change instead of feeling sorry for yourself? Look, pal, you don't even know me, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, what is there to know? You're just like everyone else, expecting everything should be handed to them. Isn't there someone else around for you to annoy? <sighs> Do you see anyone else around? Look, why don't you go eat some bugs, all right? Or do whatever it is that homeless people do. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You've got me all figured out, don't you? <laughs> Listen, I'm not the one with the problem here. It's you. I'm fine. Oh, really? Wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. <laughs> I don't believe that either. Tell me, how exactly are you feeling? Actually, having a hard time feeling anything but confused lately. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Hey, I don't do drugs. Drugs? You insult me, son. These are emotions. Don't you remember the news a couple of years ago? The headlines? Huh? What I have here is on the cutting edge of recreational enjoyment. Several years back, pharmaceutical companies were rolling in cash from the antidepressant boom. Then, one of those companies came up with a valid point. <laughs> if they're happy, they won't need us anymore. Mind if I light up, do you? Now, some of the drugs were getting too good. Some people only needed to take them once, and they were fine. <laughs> That's when they decided to manufacture emotional supplements. The way they sold it to the public was brilliant. They said, sometimes we don't know when to cry or when to laugh, <laughs> and that can be unhealthy. So, doctors began to prescribe them like they were candy. And eventually, they became a street drug. It was hip to have your emotions dictated to you by a pill. So, what I have there and what you see is the fruit of all that labor. A pill for each and every emotion. A pill for each emotion? Uh, did, did I stutter? Everyone has become numb. Of course, I can't blame them after everything that happened. What happened? Oh, well. <laughs> You don't know. Perhaps it's best you keep it that way. Ignorance is bliss. So, how many pills do you want? None. Thanks anyway. You think you're above this? I can see in your eyes. You are just as dead as everyone else. The only thing that will change that is a change of emotions. Are you telling me that you are above emotions? Are you telling me you can't conceive of any possible use you could have for emotions? Look, even if I did, I don't have any money. Oh, what? Well, then you are completely worthless. I am sorry I wasted my time. Hey! I'll 
give you a sample. A trial, if you will. Now, if you like what I have to offer, <laughs> you just let me know. Look, even if I do, which I won't, how will I know where to find you? <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> I'll find you. Oh, and uh, just to let you know, those anger pills in there are pretty potent. And... There are only three love pills. So use those sparingly. Oh, hey. What were you doing out there? I was, uh, just thinking important thoughts. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to bed. I you guess. Sleeping on the couch? No, we're sleeping down the hall in the guest room. Oh, right. So, I've done some bad things to you lately, and I wanted to apologize. Bad things? Yeah, you know, kissing Matthew and Anno. I, I shouldn't have done that, and I don't know what came over me, honestly. It's fine. No, it's not. I mean, today I realized that our souls really are united. You know, and, and how else could you have had power over my body like that? We're one, and I'm just so glad that I found you. Thanks. Well, don't you feel the same way? How so? Aren't you glad that you met me? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I guess so. Oh, you guess so. Yeah. Why does this always happen to me? You know what? I'm going to bed. I'll meet you in there. It's all right. I mean, I'm just wasting my time with someone who doesn't even care that I'm breathing. You think that's okay? Look, I do care if you're breathing. You've changed. What do you mean? What happened to you? I just... I realized my feelings for you were stronger than I thought.
so what got into you last night? Why do you keep saying that? Well, you know, you just... You don't really care about me, and then all of a sudden you're enamored of me, and it's just weird. Is it against the law to love you? You actually used the L word. Yeah, why not? Hey, do you actually think it's possible to take a love pill to make you fall in love with someone? Are you serious? Where'd you get love pills? No, I didn't say that I took a pill. I was just asking if you thought it was possible. <laughs> so you think you could just take a pill and fix everything? Sure, let's just solve everything with drugs. I didn't say I took any pills, okay? You know what? You are not as subtle as you think, and I am not a moron. I don't lie to me, I know you're lying. Just, I know okay. you took a little pill. Okay, alright, yes, fine, I took a pill. I kind of felt bad about that I did it. And that's why I kind of told you that. Felt bad that you did it? It being the pills. Oh. Because I love you. I don't want to keep anything from you. You don't love me. I do love you. No, you don't. Those pills just made a chemical reaction in your brain to make it feel like you love me. You no, don't actually love no, me. No, that's not it. Look, I think they just help us express what's already there. Damn it, will you stop? Men suck. Yeah. What about your guy, though? He seems sweet. A little stupid, maybe, but sweet. Not a prick like Anna. At least Anna loves you. He doesn't have to take some kind of pill to make himself believe that he loves you. You have a problem with that? Yeah. Look, I'd rather have someone who has to take a pill to love me than an abusive asshole like Anna. I mean, if you can't be happy, you might as well take a pill. That's what I always say. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any in years, but why not? It just feels like it's missing something. Who's them? Oh. Maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. Tell me that you had Uns. What's so special about Uns? They're pure emotions. Look. Oh. Okay, here we go. This is exactly what we need. Pure happiness. Really? I mean, didn't you just say how much your man was pissing you off? Yeah. Preventing you from being happy? I guess so. Well, I mean, how can you expect to be happy around something like that? Good point. Take the pill. You'll feel better. Okay. I don't feel anything. Well, it takes a little while. Oh, we're probably gonna leave in the morning. I, mean, I think I heard you say something about that, but why? Well, Anna was kicking us out, remember? Okay, well, yeah, I was there for that, but... I, you said something about it earlier, though. It was you or Percy, like, when you walked in, you said something about you had to leave in the morning, you were just passing through. Yeah, Percy's got this just map on his arm that he says will lead us to good things. <laughs> 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 it's not even a tattoo, it's just drawn on there. <laughs> I know, right? Stop. It's ridiculous. <laughs> He's like, here we are. Now we gotta go over here. Let's go that way. Is there a compass or something on here? Which way is north? I mean, you 
It's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you following this kid again? Well, I thought he was my soulmate. <clears throat> Your soulmate? Yeah. You know there are no soulmates, right? Are you kidding me right now, right? Well, I mean, what about Anno? He can merge with you like Percy can with me. <laughs> Anno. <laughs> All right, well, I can't explain exactly how it happens, but I know for a fact that Anna was not my soulmate. Mm -mm. Well, if you can't explain it, if you can't explain it, then how do you know he isn't your soulmate? Because I can feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong pills? Did you take my pills? Well, you didn't say not to. No, I just assumed you wouldn't touch something that wasn't yours. What, like I'm doing right now? <laughs> Why did you take my pills? I was depressed. Look, we thought we were taking the happy ones, okay? We didn't know you had them combined all in one package. Well, maybe you should have actually read the label first. But better yet, don't touch something that's not yours. Maybe you shouldn't talk to her like that. I can talk to her any way I want. She's my girlfriend. Really? Because I saw the way that you treated her out there. You act like you don't even care about her. But when anyone gets a little too close, then you seem to get scared. I wonder why that is. I'm sorry. She's just saying that because we took the pills. The hell I am! <laughs> the pills only opened our eyes. They're not gonna wear off. She's moved on, Percy. Maybe you should too. Why do you say all that? Because it's true. Is it? You know as much as I do that it is. I want to be with you, Percy. She wants to be with me. Are you going to kill me? What the hell is that going to prove? Percy! Percy! <laughs> what the hell are you doing, goddammit? This has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me when it involves my woman. Get out. Get out! I want you out of here. That's fine. Get out! Come on! Sick and tired of all this damn chaos in my life, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. Gee, move. Heidi! You know, you're right. We don't need any more chaos in our life. So I've decided to eliminate it. What do you mean? I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Are we clear? Do you, do you understand? Oh, oh, no, no, I understand. What I understand is you're done though with the guy who tried to murder you! All right, no, oh, go on ahead, go on ahead. You do just, you're just one of those great categories of women. You know what your category is? Stupid bitch. Right, you know, I'm done. You can't go. You can't force something that isn't there.
day, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell happened to my Nezzers? You know, I don't want to have anything to do with them. Nothing at all. Is that why you killed them? <laughs> How did you even know that they could die? I didn't. <laughs> oh, but, but I tried for so long, and then I finally did. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to keep him here. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not on your side? So the pills wore off. What makes you think that? You two seem kind of distant. Seriously, we seem distant. If anyone's been distant here, it's been you. What the hell do you think we were in the bathroom talking about? You and how you just don't seem to care about anything. She was sad. Enough, Heidi. No, you know what? He needs to get it through his thick skull. You had something so important standing right in front of you. And could you even be bothered to care? He had to take a pill to make himself love you. Look, I'm sick of this, okay? Let's just go where we're supposed to go, wherever that is. Oh, <laughs> big tough guy now. <laughs> the world's ended. We lost. What are you still holding on to? <laughs> Where is your woman? I thought she was bound to you. <laughs> she is. <laughs> then where is she? Still playing the part of the big tough leader. Your Nezzers are dead. You... You're nothing. <laughs> you were part of this? Like you said you were, brother. But you would know that we have an entire army. What do you need an army for? You know, ever since you offered for me to join your little group, and I said no, you still won't get off my ass about it. I don't want anything to do with you. I'm not your little spy. I'm not your little friend on the inside. doesn't work. Pathetic. You have always had a weak soul. Since you couldn't keep him here, could you at least point me in the direction to where he went? Oh, oh, of course. They went that way. Heavy trails. That's fine.
you can't win them all, can you? Truth be told, maybe you two were actually meant for each other in the first place. This is all your fault. Now, how could one really point blame in a situation like this? This is how it goes. You love, you lose, guess what? It happens. What about your whole philosophy about fused souls? Do you know what that philosophy is aimed towards? The Nezers. I just tell to humans so they don't get scared. I don't even like humans. My theory is we can fuse our souls together and become full machine. Here, let me show you. No. Your philosophies change every day. You're insane. I have been called a genius on more than one occasion. I don't care what you've been called. I, I, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Just get out of my sight. As you wish. I have nothing else. Don't, don't, don't do this, don't, you don't want to do this. Do you know how easy I can kill you right now? Yes, yes I do. I just have to pull the trigger and it's all over. No one will miss you at all. No, no they won't, just, I don't want, I don't want. It's okay. You're my brother. Yeah. I wouldn't kill you. No. That would be awful. How could I live with myself for that? Come on. Yeah. I gotta go. Give me a hug. Okay. Give me a hug. Yeah, sure. Give me a hug. I'm just a little confused about a couple things. Of all the things that have happened, what specifically are you confused about? Well, first of all, I can't stand you, Percy. What? Uh-uh, shut up. I'm not done. I can't stand you, okay? However, you managed to fuse with me and you fused with her, too. I mean, what the hell, Heidi? I thought you loved me. Well, we were on those pills. I feel so fucking used right now. Used and betrayed. I don't even know what to do or think anymore. I just feel so sick, I want to vomit. Look, we have to get going, all right? Before more of those things come. Either of you actually care how I feel? Yes, we do. Yeah, whatever. Come on, let's just go. Hey, you don't even know where you're going. Neither do you. I have a map on my wrist. That is not a goddamn map. It's a bunch of lines and dots. Somebody drew it on you. Lilith, I gotta go. Come on in! 
you guys, come on in. You're welcome. Come on in. Come on. Come on in. You guys, come on in. Come on in. We don't get many visitors. Come on in. You're welcome here. Come on. for yourselves. This place is absolutely beautiful. Poor thing. Looks like she's hungry. Yeah. She's our friend. Well, why didn't you invite her in? You can not invite her in. Don't open the door. Folks heard about the Invisible War? No. The Invisible War? No. I haven't seen it. Why were you sitting next to Heidi? They told us to sit. We were just being polite. I think I'm in love with her. Do you realize how stupid that sounds? Why is it stupid? Because I'm not with you? You were head over heels for me. You can't just turn that off. If you act like an asshole, I can. Look. Remember when you said that you needed me in your life? Remember when you said things like how I completed you? People change. I don't believe that. Don't give up on us. You sound so pathetic right now. You know, you guys don't seem to have any suitcases. But you seem to be carrying a lot of baggage. Yeah, I'm sorry. We can leave you two be. Oh, nonsense. The world is dangerous. You know, we like to think of this place as a safe haven. Actually, we don't know who you guys are. But you gotta trust your gut sometimes. You know, we've seen you arguing with your... arguing and fighting. But, you know, it's nothing we've never seen before. You know, the world is tough. And humanity has to stick together. And you have to have trust. If you don't have trust, what do you have? How do you feel now, son? I don't, actually. I think there should be something there, but there's nothing there right now. Well, I heard you argue with your lady friend. Don't you feel something for her? I feel as though I have to. Hmm. I don't even know why. I'm just, just going through the motions. Well, good luck. here.
the hell is going on in here? Is he gonna be all right? Oh, oh, that's it. I want all you guys out of here right now. Oh. Look, these kids are all jacked up on drugs or something. Get them out of here right now. All right, he I just, just told you that he took too many of those pills. Were you listening at all? Oh, apparently not. You are so weird. What the hell, Heidi? I thought you loved me. Whose side are you on? Seriously? You don't remember that either, how I took that love pill? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I distinctly remember taking that. How could you actually think I was in love with you? Sweetie, those feelings were synthetic. Come on. not in love with me, okay? If you're in love with Percy, you've always been in love with Percy, and it's always going to be you and Percy. All you wanted was to use me to make him jealous. That's it. I'm not gonna feel bad for you because you wanted to use me. Where the hell are we going? Just down a little ways. I just can't wait to get rid of you guys. Let's go where we're going, and I'll never see you again. that you have to go through all of this. Sorry. I'm not thinking clearly right now. I just, just want to find the answers. Where's Lilith? What the hell is her problem now? Fantastic. I need you to try and merge with me. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Nothing that interests you! Okay, well then maybe you could at least tell us where we are. You're nowhere! Listen, these people are sick. And if you keep meandering around here, they're gonna get the delusion that you could save them! Save them? You can't save the Forsaken! These people are all stranded. And somehow I feel like I'm responsible. What did you do? You know, the sad thing is, if they had just taken the time to think of the long-term effects, maybe they would have left well enough alone. I want answers, goddammit. Exactly! What do you mean? God did damn it. He damned all of it. He ended the world and washed his hands of all of you. Come again? Questioning things is good. 
but trying to find any reason to destroy something is bad. You know, people would rather wipe out the entire planet than try and study it and figure out how it works. Well, if you hate it so much, then why don't you leave? <sighs> how many times do I have to tell you that I can't? <laughs> They didn't just take a piece of your soul, did they? Seems like they took most of your brain along with it. Why do you have to be so cryptic? Why don't you want to tell me anything? Because I have a really good idea that you're to blame for all of this. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. No, no. Mm. Yeah, and neither did he. Okay? And look where he's headed. Straight off the cliff. You think that's any better? Ha! <laughs> that represents change. The worst card in the deck is the fool. Lilith. What are you doing here? I thought it would be better if I left. You understand, don't you? You should come with us. Yeah, no, that's not happening. How dare you? Why not? <laughs> she's no longer your concern. She needs help for all the years of pill abuse she's been subjected to. She's made her own decision. I think you better leave. Hey, Percy! You go up that hill, you'll find what you're looking for. Mistake. Who are you? 
I'm Anderson, but that's not important right now. Percy, I didn't think you were going to make it. I'm so relieved. Matthew, this is my son. I don't want you to hurt him. He's a very special boy. We had an agreement, Anderson. I made a mistake. I made a serious mistake, and you deserve answers. I will explain everything. What the hell is going on here? I'm so glad that we've taken care of our little miscommunication. Percy, you see how everything makes sense? Can we just get this done and over with? Heidi? Will someone please explain to me what the hell is going on? Explanation? Oh yes, you haven't been caught up on what has happened yet, have you? Several years ago, when I worked for the government, we were on the edge of a massive breakthrough. It was the result of years of intensive research. We had finally gotten the proof of the existence of an actual human soul. It was being stored in the frontal lobe of the brain. In order to access the soul, we would have to give lobotomies. No one would volunteer for this procedure, however, though, so we used our governmental influence to force them to do so. Naturally, though, people were not happy when they found out. We tried to use some of our resources to create a defense mechanism, and out of many failed attempts sprang the Nazars. It gave many mixed results, but they were obedient. Also, through all these failed attempts, we realized that we actually couldn't harvest the entire soul. We could only take most of it. This action we took ended up pissing more than humans off. It pissed off God. He no longer lets the half-souls into heaven. They are forced to stay earthbound forever. Wait, what does all this have to do with me? Would you like me to chew your food for you? You're selfish. You think you own the stars, but you're nothing. You're nothing without me. I did so much for you, all of this for you. This is how you repay me, by bringing her here? Why can't you do one simple thing? Everyone's waiting for you, Percy. You are the only one who can release all the souls to be reunited with the rest. But I've changed my mind. I don't want to free these souls anymore. We can create better things. So what if God won't let us in? We'll create our own world in heaven. We don't know what he's going to do now that he has all this information. He should be disposed of immediately. I still have a feeling he can be trusted that maybe everything's going to be all right for once. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this, Anderson. Hearing all about fairy tales. I am the only loyal one here. I am the most dependable, constant out of anyone. And what do you treat me like? Now, you treat me like a lower class citizen. I think we should shoot him right between his eyes. Now, now, there's business at hand first. Don't let your anger get the best of you. I'm cold, ain't cold? There's a fire if you want to warm up over there. No thanks, I'm good. Uh, you know, right about now, Percy is trying his little heroic routine. But honestly, I hope he fails. Before we go any further, do you have the tape recorder? You hold on to it, and let me show you something first. Oh, please, spare me the theatrics. You're one to talk. Say hello to Hope. Hope is the reason we learned all of this soul manipulation technology. What is that? Is that an alien? You were the only scientist to figure it all out. Survivor of the accident. The others refused to talk. Take a look at it. It's a lifetime of work. Hope you breathe. Hmm. 
Listen to me. Turn over the tape. Press play. Wait, where's the tape recorder? He said something we need for you to interpret. Rules are meant to be followed. We have rules for a reason. If we didn't, the world would be lost in turmoil. You made the right choice to come here and seek asylum from all the chaos outside of these. Ooh. It's time to go. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here, and she shouldn't leave. What's going on? Hey, where are you going? I'm in love with you. 